Okay. So, where I park, you can see the cars. Yep. You can barely see it, but oh well. Here's my truck. Yep, yep, it's standing. Here it is. Here's all the other cars. There's two more cars right here. This Pontiac always parks so jacked. And may I remind you that these parking spaces are tiny enough as it is. You can barely fit cars in here. Eh, this one's barely in it, but here's a little contour. So that everybody can fit. This car is almost in grass. This car shifted over because I have to shift over a tiny bit. So that I, there's enough room for a, four, a fifth car to fit right here. Well, because this Pontiac always parks, never fails, like that. A car can't fit here. If they do, they're going to be two inches from my door. Or they're going to be two inches from her door. And I'm, I'm sick of it. How I park here is I pull up, because right here's the road, I pull in, I put it in neutral, and I roll back down the hill, straighten my wheel up so that I can fit perfectly, and then pull in. So that I'm perfectly in between the lines, not looking like a bad word, Hold on, wait. because I'm ruining two parking spaces. Whoa, there's a glare. See my brother, here's his car. Here's his line. He has to shift over a tiny bit, because they didn't make these lines perfect anyway. It's really supposed to be four parking spots, but they tried to cram five in here, and in reality, if you park, park properly, there's enough room. I have a medium-sized to small SUV. They have a me oh, sort of on the smaller medium-sized car, and they fit. This is a medium-sized sedan, and it fits. Now, whatever I park right here, I come in the grass. This is why this grass is dead right here, because everyone's tires go along it. So that it makes room, because that woman always parks off-center, so that she'll park, the car will be over farther, the tire will end right here, another tire will end right here, their tire will end right here, just because she don't want to take three extra seconds to back up and make sure the stupid car is in the space. Ugh, I was gonna leave a note. My parents advised me not to. My light just went on. Whoa, you can see my lens. That's creepy. There you are. But, yeah. So, oh, it's really bright. I don't know what to do. I'm just probably gonna call because we live in a place where we have to call the office every single time to report something. Tomorrow, I'm just gonna call the office and say there's a person. Okay, my light's not going off. Who is that? Is that another car that parks here all the time? I sure hope not. No, that's Ed. So now, I'm just gonna go to the office tomorrow, and I'm just gonna say that they need to regulate this better. They should not have put these lines just for the fact that now, four good parking spots are now reduced to two. And might I add, she lives in the house right here. So she doesn't, she could just park, um, I don't know, in her driveway, which you can't really see that very well, but right here's her driveway, or here's where she parks, taking up a spot that could be easily used. Yes, it's visitors, but we're not allowed to park on our lawns. If we were, I'd be in the grass, which is perfectly fine by me, but we're not. So, parking frustrations. What would you do in this situation?